Little Rock police just released the dash camera video and audio the night an officer detained a Little Rock City director. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ashley Katz. Good evening. I'm Bob Plus. And two weeks ago, City Director Ken Richardson was placed in handcuffs after refusing to leave an area where police were interviewing a potential suspect. The police officer asked Richardson to drive away several times, and when he didn't, the officer put him in the back of a patrol car. KRK Force Haley Brooks has been following this story. She joins us now. Fill us in, Haley. I watched several hours of video from the patrol cars that day. From the second Richardson pulls up to the second he's placed in handcuffs is less than 90 seconds. This is dash cam footage taken as Little Rock police officer Alexander Sullivan drives through the Kroger parking lot of Colonel Glen Road looking for a suspect in an aggravated robbery. Hey man, hold up. Sullivan stops a man in a nearby alley. Well, you match the description. Then you can see Sullivan talking to a man in a red polo shirt. A few seconds later, that man is placed in handcuffs. You can then hear the suspect say, You can't see what happens next, but you can hear it. Keep going, please. Officer Sullivan tells someone to leave. That someone is City Director Ken Richardson. Go. Drive, please. Officer Sullivan tells Richardson to leave nine times before placing him in handcuffs. The whole interaction is less than 90 seconds. All right, turn around, play change money back. Moments later, cameras show City Director of Ward 2 sitting in the back of the patrol car, where Richardson says he sat for nearly 30 minutes. You know, if I got one person stopped and the reference is ag robbery, a possible suspect, and then another guy rolled up on me while I'm trying to handle this stop and then refused to leave the stop. After being detained, Richardson is brought to the front of the car while Officer Sullivan fills out the citation for obstructing governmental operations. Then the handcuffs are removed. All right, Mr. Richardson. So this, like I said, this is a criminal citation to appear. Richardson is asked to sign the citation. Then the city director makes a phone call. Call Chief Officer. I sat down with Richardson the next day, shortly after he spoke with Little Rock Chief of Police Keith Humphreys. He apologized and said they're going to do an investigation through internal affairs and going to take the appropriate action. But he, he did apologize for the actions of his officers. Chief Humphrey says he will not do any interviews until the investigation is complete. Bob Ashley, back to you.